Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I say that every time I come to you because I'm very, very honored to come into your home each week and share with you what's going on here throughout Central Florida, Tampa Bay area and beyond. And boy, do we have some creative things happening periodically and throughout that I want to bring to your attention because I want you to be able to partner with the ministries that we have on. And today, the entire show is going to be uh, devoted to something called the Inspire Tour. And I've actually, nothing's come across my desk called that before. So that, that automatically uh, got my attention. But you, today, you are going to be inspired. So you want to call somebody at home. You want to stay tuned for the entire show because we have four great people on the program today. I'm called distinguished panelists, but they comprise the Inspire Tour and they're going to share their stories. Uh, and you really want to stay tuned for this. So I want to introduce all of them. And I have to say this group, and I, and I know we're showing all of you right now, is just a great fun group. So we're going to have some fun today <laughs> because some of them are actual comedians as well and talk show hosts. Well, and we're going to start and tell you about them. Right immediately here to my left is a person that may be known by many of you, Pete, but never seen, right? <laughs> known by Only when I come seen. here, only when I'm on your show. Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. But Pete O'Shea uh, is, of course, the uh, host of the Pete O'Shea Show on WTIS 1110 AM Inspiration Radio uh, every morning, right, from 7 to 9 AM and then 11 AM to 12 noon daily. But mm -hmm. he's also an author, speaker, and a lot of other things that you've been involved with. So. So happy to have you. Next to you is Bobby Petroselli, and who is an author, motivational speaker. And we have had Bobby on a few times over the years on Bay Focus and also some of our other programs. Incredible story he has to share, and I'm not going to steal his thunder yet. <laughs> uh, and then next to you is Tina Levine, who is a speaker, comedian, author, advocate for drug treatment, prevention, and juvenile justice. Thank you so much for coming on, Tina. And then right next to you is Steve Hopper who is founder and owner of Ability to Influence, an author, speaker, motivational. I, I love this, this term, influence coach. Uh, I've heard of life coaches, uh, influence coach. I, I loved that. The four of these, of these uh, four people make up the Inspire Tour, otherwise known as the Avengers. I'm sorry, I could not resist desire to say that. I don't see any, any costumes or nothing. I'm about to turn green, don't get me know, angry. I know, yeah, we're trying to use the Hulk, you know. Uh, Ooh, no, but I'm telling you, when I, saw the, when I saw the lone, you know, the lone one, I go, this is too perfect, this is totally the Avengers. Black but, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm joking, but you guys have an incredible story, and we're going to show on the screen right up front. They've all written books. And let's show on the screen what they are. We have Steve Hopper's Risen from Prison. His book is From Prison to Purpose. Pete O'Shea is Pain Was My Friend. Tina Levine's is Let Your Lessons Become Your Blessings. And then Bobby Petroselli's is You Matter, It Doesn't. And while there you are, you see on the screen, <clears throat> each one of these books could be a show. I mean, when I, when I looked at this, I'm going, the, the stories behind this, how God has taken and, and changed lives. And there's a reason you're doing this. And first of all, why the Inspire Tour? What got the four of you together decided to go on and do something called the Inspire Tour? And, it, and it's coming up um, specifically uh, at your premier uh, location coming up. I'm going to throw this to you, Pete. Well, we're all friends, and we knew each other. We've all been supporters of each other over the years and what we do. But in, in the recent months, each of them came on my show as the book was either coming out or we're getting close to it. And, and, we, and I watched, and I'm listening, and I'm hearing, wow, there's a lot of commonality in the, in the four stories. And I said, why don't we go have pizza, which you can always get things done over pizza, right? So we all sat down, the four of us. Although Bobby gets mad when you put toppings on the pizza, like it's a, oh my goodness, you gotta, I can't have any Tell toppings. Tell him why, two ways to get out of the mob. Topping on the pizza, and that's the main reason. Wouldn't be the last name, Petrocelli, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, so we said, why don't we, why don't we come together? We all have a story to tell, and everybody has a story to tell. We right. want to inspire people to say, you know right. what? Your story has purpose, too. Your story can heal others. Your story can help others, too. And so if we can come together, the four of us, and do the Inspire Tour, come to your church and say look we'll give you a day conference where you're going to come out of there it won't expire after you leave so a lot of times you go to conferences when you leave there yeah yeah done yeah. okay but of course of those four stories were so compelling like you said individually yeah. to put them together to see the crossovers of it to see how much god's capable of which is infinite and to see again how he's worked in our four lives 
hopefully it's going to inspire other people to do the same. Yeah. To tell their story, yeah. to write their book, and to be willing to share, to be transparent. We talked about just before we came on the air, the hardest part about writing a book like this is being transparent about what you went yeah. through. And when you're honest about it, then your healing really begins. Yeah. And then everybody else's healing begins from there. And that's why God does what he does for all of us and saves us. Okay, your first ourselves. one is going to be at Harborside, Harborside Christian. Christian. And we can show that on the screen right now. And that's going to be, give us a date. Saturday, June the 27th okay. at Harborside Christian, which is in Safety Harbor. Mm -hmm. Again, they need to come on out. It's going to be a great day where we're going to have workshops. We're going to have speaking. We're going to have a chance for everybody to get spend time together in fellowship and prayer, praise and worship. It's going to be a day. Uh, it's life-altering <coughs> and transforming, without a doubt. Okay, is that a Saturday? Uh, That's a Saturday. Saturday, the, yes. The times. Yes, it will begin at 9 o'clock and it will go to 2 o'clock. Okay. All right. And the one thing, in the interest of save time, too, what, what so that anybody watching at home, all four of you will get up and talk a little bit at first. Yeah. And then you will break up into these workshops where people can get in one-on-one -on -one yeah. with you and hear your individual stories. Right. Okay. I'm going to come back to you, Pete. Sure. Um, but, Bobby, I want to now just to kind of let our viewers know a little bit um, the stories here. Um, for some of our viewers may remember you, Bobby. Some may not. Um, you are actually going along in life, serving the Lord, and then something catastrophic happened to you. Can you, in a just succinct uh, Absolutely, you can, Darlene. Share it. Finishing off of what Pete said, <laughs> God wants us to know that what we have been through, the same comfort that we receive, mm -hmm. He wants us to bring that comfort to others. And that's where the Inspire Tour comes from and where each of our lives come from. But my life was drastically changed in one moment. One day doesn't change lives forever or impact lives forever. It's one moment, one moment at a time. When a drunk driver crashed through my house while I was asleep in bed, killing my wife and seriously injuring me. And within one moment, 10 seconds, literally, my life was changed forever. The it that came into my life was a drunk driver changing it forever within that one moment. But God had empowered me, you know, prior, during, and after to take this tragedy turn it into a triumph and bring hope and healing to everybody because everybody in this world somewhere somehow some way and all four of us can acclaim to this that somehow we've had our hearts broken we've been devastated the vital key is what do we run to when our hearts are broken and jesus's words were clear i've come to heal the brokenhearted but every one of us have had our hearts broken the difference is what do we run to at that moment yeah. to bring healing to that broken heart it, it, it either breaks you you talk about broken it'll either break you or you can take it to to uh the next step and, and come out of that and that's what each one of you guys are talking about now with your situation too as you were a, a teacher and a coach and you've been and this is also translated into how you can take your story about even being hit by a drunk driver and speak to teens and various Absolutely. things. And we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But, but that is your backstory, which is chronicled in your book. And I want to say, too, for those of you watching, that we're giving you the website throughout the day here, um, which is the, uh, the Inspire Tour. Is it InspireTour.com? Mm -hmm. right. right. I had it written down. And I, there it is, InspireTour.com. But you go there, and you can also find information on each one of these panelists here today and their own personal websites, their own personal Facebook presence. Find out more about them and connect with them. Um, that was great, Bobby. That's the short version. We'll come back and talk a little bit more. Tina, when I read your book, <clears throat> I have to tell you, I kept reading chapter after chapter going, um, wow, this just keeps getting worse. But it was, I mean, seriously, you had so many horrible things hit you in every different way, and, and um, including um, just times you, you, you know, turned to drugs and alcohol. But there was a pivotal pivotal incident that happened in your life that just you could not recover from and it what this is another testament as things can happen to us in childhood mm -hmm. that are devastating for years to come yes at seven years old my friend was kidnapped and murdered and so at that point I made God irrelevant in my life and I blamed myself and that's where survivor guilt had started and I had survivor guilt until I got sober at 23 years old and okay and that's that's the um, again that's the short version but that was the, the catalyst that started it off but the survivor's guilt led to a dependency on drugs alcohol right am I correct in saying all yes. that and kept leading into that and you experimenting you also were victim yes. victimized at, at times it's, uh, yeah victim it all of, spiraled right yeah a victim of rape and a victim of domestic violence yeah. Mm -hmm. So in, in that situation, it, it was, and, and 
once I, I, I get done with Pete, too, to hear a little bit of his story, I, I want to come back with you, Tina, because there, there's a, a thread here. Steve, you made a choice a, as a young man that altered, altered your life drastically. You started out at a normal life, normal kid, you know, normal upbringing, but allowed, started to allow what could happen and just hanging around with the wrong people and getting involved sure. in things. And then you made a fateful decision. What happened? Yeah, and that, I think that's one of the key points is that most of the stories that we're hearing here so far were uh, situations that were completely out of their control. Yeah. But I made a choice. I made a decision one night with uh, uh, my entire future ahead of me. I had the bull by the horns and uh, all the opportunity in the world and went out one night to a, a party, a keg party in high school my senior year and uh, went with a couple guys from the football team. Big fight broke out at the party. I jumped in the fight. Three days later, the sheriff's department showed up at my house with a warrant for my arrest. Unfortunately, one of the teens that I had hit during the altercation on Friday night has slipped into a coma. So uh, for three months, I sat in the county jail waiting to find out if he was gonna live or die. Uh, after three months, luckily, I heard the best news I'd ever heard in my life, but unfortunately, the price for the decision that I made that night still had not yet been paid. So to make a long story short, at 17 years old, I wasn't going to college uh, to play football like I had planned and dreamed of my whole life. Instead, I was going to Florida State Prison for 10 years. Yeah, and, and I have to, again, I'm, we're giving you <coughs> snippets today in the show. You need to get the books. <laughs> you need to read these books and go to the Inspire Tour and hear all the all the details and that was really just the beginning of your transformation going to prison yes. and, and because God met you there in a big way that's yeah. right Pete I'm coming back to you because your story was one of yes you ultimately became dependent on drugs became dependent on things but there again a situation as you mentioned out of your control you went through some horrific car accidents but you just had a chip on your shoulder and if I when I read your book I went this is a Murphy's Law guy <laughs> yeah. this is like whatever could go wrong, wrong. went wrong yep. in your life culminating in car accidents yeah I say compared to O'Shea Murphy was an optimist <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> okay uh, because at 19 years old I'm sitting still at a light once in my whole life I was minding my own business the guy slams into me <laughs> the guy slams into me I wind up you know, you know <laughs> I have a spondylolisthesis in my spine I know you want to say God bless you right the whole vertebrae pops off and to the side and they want to do this big giant open surgery I said no way they said well by the time you're 30 your body will fall apart and they were right by my mid 30s my whole left side didn't work couldn't go to the bathroom couldn't function was dependent on drugs and alcohol well alcohol not so much that it had already stopped but drugs and everything else and angry and bitter and all that and then God came to me in a vision and said go find this surgeon that does back surgery a new way and you tell him I sent you and he's gonna give you a job afterwards as a spokesperson and failure to assist you will lead to his eternal damnation. And I sent him an email with that, and he sent right back to me. Everybody said, you're crazy, you can't send him that, but God tells you to do it, you do it, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, he, I had arthroscopic laser surgery, and I walked off that table when I couldn't walk when I got there. I literally slid myself off the table and walked right to him. That is, that is such a miracle. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it's definitely a miracle, there's no doubt about it. I shouldn't be alive today, for sure. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the thread in and so many of these stories here today is that you encountered these situations that were just hopeless, that were just devastating, but somewhere in there, you, f you either reached out to God or he found you. Um, when we come back, when we come back, I want to find out from, from each of you then, when you, you, and again, this is the short version, I keep saying that there's, there's so much to these stories but what was the defining moment in your life where you find where you said, "Okay, God, you have a plan for me. I'm going to follow your plan." And what are you doing with that today? And why should people come to the Inspire Tour to hear this? So stay tuned. We'll be right back. You want to stay tuned? This is getting good. We'll be right back. To connect with Inspire Tour, call 727-710-4094 or send an email to info at theinspiretour.com. You can also find more information online at www.theinspiretour.com and on Facebook.
Christian Television Network is all about proclaiming the gospel. All over the world. It's about connecting you with your local community. It's about family and everything that affects the home. CTN is about keeping you fit. In spirit, soul, and body. Well, we're back talking with the members of our panel here that are comprising the Inspire Tour, um, coming here to the Central Florida area and what an incredible team they are. Steve, I, I want to ask you a question. It's a kind of a catalyst, a springboard for conversation with us. Um, there was a point where you really had a dramatic encounter with the Lord um, in prison, and, and you, you really had an incredible moment. And then you went through times on, on when you got out of prison, you got out a little early and serving the Lord and, and, and really going and then having to re, re, almost refire again, lost out with the Lord, but came back. But you came back and you were on fire for the Lord. And now how, where was, is there a point where you finally said, okay, God, I, I hear you and you have this plan for your life. That's a big thing of what you talk about is purpose and plan. Absolutely. Well, you know, it was a shift. Uh, it was, there was a point when uh, I came to realize that it was not about me uh -huh. and that my story, as powerful as it might be, was just part of one little part of a much bigger story, which was God's story. And I think that that's something that resonates with all four of us is that our stories are all just make up the big story, which is his story. Yeah. And I think that's one of the key factors in the Inspire Tour is to get out there right. and inspire Christians to realize that, like uh, Bobby says all the time, you matter. Your story is part of his story. And uh, when I came to know the Lord on that prison cell uh, floor that night, I was at the darkest place in my life. I felt like my life was over. Uh, so many emotions overtook me that night. And when I got on my knees on that prison floor and laid my face on that cold, dirty, hard, concrete floor and cried out to God in an instant, everything changed. Yeah. Everything yeah. changed in that instant. And God kept bringing you. You read in the book, you find that's a bringing right. back to that point, bringing it to you again. This is, right. this is the story of these people of all of our lives is it's ongoing. It's an ongoing point where you are continually rededicating, redoing your life to the Lord. But, you, but God has really taken you to a place now and you're even... You're even uh, ministering to um, young people about being life behind bars in prison. That's right. Tina works with young people. What would you say on this Inspire Tour? I mean, you're you're working in the juvenile justice system now. Everything you went through and how you eventually, eventually, boy, for you, it was tough. You finally, finally, finally gave in to the Lord. And God stepped in and you finally believed in Him. Mm -hmm. And how do you take this now? And when you speak to young people and you go and well, yeah. it's, your story. It's fun. I have a little funny story with that. I was in jail and I was sharing with these young females and, and they look at me and they hear my story and they judge me at first and they think, oh, you don't know anything. You know. Yeah. And then I share my story and they're like, why are you so happy? Your life was crap. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, because I have Jesus in my heart. Like, right. today yeah. I have joy, yeah. I have hope. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. You yeah. know? And when you have Jesus and you've accepted Jesus and you're just filled with joy and hope and every day I'm just thrilled that I woke up. Yeah, and see, that's huge, because when you, when you read these, these books again, these people have walked through some things, and to every day turn to the Lord and say, and your book, Tina, also is, operates as like a devotional, because at the end of each chapter, there's a scripture life application for those of us reading it. So that, that was a nice, t every, every book has its own distinct um, um, story, and not just books, your own ministry. Mm -hmm. Bobby, you're up there with the Inspire Tour. What do you want people to come out of that with? I want them to understand that in life, Guilt motivates people in one way to say I made a mistake. The one thing, and I will use the word hate in this case because it's the enemy's greatest tool, is shame. Shame tells Bobby Petroselli, bad happened to me because I'm a bad person. I am a mistake. God is punishing me. If you look at the stories of everybody here, before they finally came to that true revelation and understanding, they had been wounded, they had been hurt. The it was the wound and the hurt they experienced. They then ran to another it to say, no, I'm not a bad person. I really am a good person. I have something to offer. It just so happened the thing they ran to was something negative because for some reason their interpretation of who they were 
Pete does an awesome job sharing this. We all live out a different version of who we really are. How we see ourselves, how we think somebody else sees us, or how we truly believe God sees us. And most people, because what has been presented is, and even in Tina's situation, this happened to my friend. How could I trust a God yeah. that did this yeah. to my friend? I'm not going to believe that, God, because that's the enemy's greatest tool, that bad happens mm -hmm. because God's trying to get us our attention and do something. God's not an abusive father. So it's the shame aspect for her to think, wait a minute. I did, and you heard Tina said, I did something wrong. I failed my friend. Shame, shame, shame yeah. on me. Yeah. That's why, forget you, God, I'm not going to go that direction. Our goal is to let people know through God, shame, shame, go away never come back another day because the power of God rids it from our life. Yeah, that's, that's, right that's, that's, right. that's huge. That's, that's, right. that's huge. That's yeah, and we're so all sharing that. Everybody is, yeah. You know, and, and, and you know what, Pete? I got to say with you, the thing that really hit me towards the end of the book was you had to get to a point of forgiveness. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, again, I get hit at 19 by a guy who's, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting still. He slams me. He didn't care. He never checked them. He never cared. All right? And so I was so angry at him for so long. I was so angry at God for so long. Picture uh, Lieutenant Dan in the movie when he loses his legs and he's foaming at the mouth and he's screaming. That was me. Okay? And so for a long time I had this book inside of me. God gave me the title in the emergency room when it first happened. You're going to write this book. Pain was my friend. It took 31 years to write it because I had not forgiven the man who hit me with the car. Hmm. And God came to me and said, why? Vital. He doesn't care. He moved on. Why are you letting a wound fester in you yeah. for all these years for no reason? That's why you can't get this book out of you. The day I got down on my knees, and here's the common thread for all four of us, getting down and on knees and finally surrendering. When he did it, when he was in the, in, in the cemetery after, at his wife's funeral, yeah. when Steve did it in the prison, when Tina did it, when you, all did, when you get to those knees, at that moment, I finally forgave him. It came flying out of me. Jesus came flying. The next day, 22,000 words or nearly half the book got written in one wow. day. One day, typing much faster than I usually type, okay? And Almost as fast as you talk. Almost as fast as I talk. <laughs> uh, well, Bob, you guys are neck and neck. Yeah, we're well, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the deep <laughs> south of New York yeah. City. Yeah, deep yeah, south right? of Queens and Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, what he's saying in all quickness, Darlene, yeah. what everybody is saying is the forgiveness aspect is leaving that it behind. Yeah. Getting rid of it, putting it under our feet, and leaving it behind. And yeah. realizing that, look, we're all down, but you're never out. You're Absolutely. never out. Yeah, yeah. You are down. You are down as far as you can be. You're in a prison cell. You're at a cemetery where they're burying your wife, but you're not out, ever. You're not out as long as you got God, as you long know, as you got Jesus. It's yeah, great. and you know, the one thing, too, on that, Pete, I thought is, you know, the 30 years that you were, you know, hadn't written the book yet, you know, you can be able to do it. You weren't really aware that forgiveness was the issue, right? God revealed that God to revealed you. it Man. to me. I did, not I did not understand. I kept saying, why can't I write this book? I started and started many times. One time I actually got about 20 pages of it, and I read it, and it was filled from anger, and it was, filled, it was nasty. It was from a bitter, ugly place. And I kept I don't understand. Why can't I? I've been a writer all my life. Why can't I write this book? And God had to show it to me. God but had to say it That's a really me. big lesson for all of us. That's like saying, okay, when you can't, you're at like this wall, and you can't figure out what it is. You really have to ask the Lord, reveal, what is it? Reveal to me what the, it, the situation is. Okay, if you were to if you were to say, uh, and, and I'm going to just open this up for anybody. Well, but good I, luck after Bobby starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Steve, okay, maybe I'll target yeah. this to one person. Start though. with me. No, I'm just no but I just go to Steve. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm I'm just I'm just looking at at where you guys are today, and I I think you've accomplished so much already. But what do you want to do? Obviously, this Inspire Tour is part of it, but you all have your own individual um, ministries. Um, where where are you going now um, for the, the years ahead? What do you what do you want to do? Do you want to just keep, keep doing what you're doing, or, or is there a particular thing God has spoken to your heart? Absolutely. I mean, I feel like God's uh, blessed me with the ability to go out and speak, and uh, that's what I intend to do to tell my continue to tell my story, obviously, and glorify His story. And one of the things that really excites me about this tour and being with this group is that you know it's not just about overcoming. That's a huge factor in in, in the tour. But the other aspect of the tour that's going to be very extremely powerful, I believe, is getting Christians to get off the bench and get in the game. Yeah. yeah. It's time. We need to pull together now more than ever. Yeah. And I believe that I speak for all of us when I say that, that our hope is to go out there and inspire the yeah. Christians well, I to give step you, up. Yeah, and, I got to yeah. jump in here because we're, we're getting close to running out of time. But there's something in your book. Uh, you actually do, do very practical things at the end of the book on how people can find their purpose, correct? 
Yes. Correct? Am I, am yes. I saying this right? If I remember, I've yes. got four books floating through my head. You can claim it, you know, but if it was yours or not. Yes. I, but that, that's a real, one of those real warm and fuzzy terms. I want purpose in my life. I sure. Mm -hmm. But you actually have practical steps that I found very, um, um, you know, educational for people that were actually looking. Okay, now what do they mean by that? You know, what does it mean? You, you actual steps. I want to encourage um, people to look at that. And then um, Tina, I just, I, I think one of the things on on you that I, other than the fact that you are the female member of the Avengers team, I'm sorry, I'm forever going to think of you. <laughs> what was her name? Black, Black Widow. Not Black Widow. Black, Black Widow. Widow. Yes. Black Widow. They oh call her Catwoman. We're going to call her Catwoman. Cat <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, she can hold her own. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just thinking. Um, that, you know, because when you read the book, you also see that it's a team. You and your husband, what you've been through together and how you've had to be there for him and he needs to be there for you and different times. That it, it, things don't go perfectly. Once you say, I'm going to serve the That's Lord, right. I'm doing this for you, God, everything's going to be perfect from here on out. It's not, is it? Absolutely not. And it, But we have to yep. keep focused on God. Yep. We have to keep focused on, just like Peter in the boat, you right. know, focus on Jesus and then we won't fall into the water yep. and we have that hope. And that's, that's yep. bottom line. My motto is, the truth is, there's hope. Okay, and, and again, I am I'm remember, I'm remembering some one of the books. Oh no, I don't know which one, but one of them saying that when it looks like it's a horrible, something horrible has happened, actually it's God making the way for something better. Absolutely, yeah. When a, when a door closes, God, yeah. I mean, he that's blows open a, another huge door. Just how he put the four of us together. You yeah, know? yeah, although I, yeah, that's, that's that, amazing to that see. The plan is for this we're, we're out of time. I, I want to say, I want to close out. We, we have less than a minute left. Tell us again where this Inspire Tour is happening, times, locations, everything. Saturday, June 27th at Harborside Christian Church in Safety Harbor. Begin at nine o'clock, come about eight o'clock to register. It'll go about two. Yeah. Workshops, talks, praise and worship. Uh, the first of God has told me this will be a national tour eventually, the four of us. So yeah, I, I just think you guys are doing We want to let people know they matter. They yes, matter yes, so yes. much to God, and every one of us scream out that We message. love you, and God loves you. God, yeah. that's, that's the story of you guys is God's right. love. God yeah. kept coming back, Infinite. kept Amen. coming back. Never Even when you rejected and came back, he kept coming and kept coming, and then he, here you are today serving him wholeheartedly. Thank you all so much. Thank you, for Thank you. Thank you, Thank you and thank you for tuning in. I hope you'll go and be a part of the Inspire Tour. What a great name. We will see you next week on Bay Focus. May God richly, richly bless you and inspire you to serve Him. God bless you. Uh, very cool.